Welcome back. You're watching Ashuna Sun. Today I'm back again with another fun sword review. Today we're talking about white suede. White suede, most of you have heard me talk about this perfume before. I've unboxed it. If you've missed that video, click over here or here, you'll find it there. Oh, now, so talking about white suede, this is how it comes boxed although there is always a folded paper on this is not an unboxing i already did an unboxing on this i think at the tom ford collection i received last year so if you missed that video again click over here up or in the description link below the link will be there and this is the box it's really nice it's white like the white white suede it has a sticker a golden sticker saying tom ford and this is the 100 mil yeah perfume so why do i still have the box after this time all this time i still have this box because it helps me protect my perfume from sunlight and if i want my perfume to last me long without going bad without anything people say perfumes don't go bad but believe me they do if you keep them for a long time and i know i'm not someone who is over spraying so my perfumes will last me so long so this is the tom's ford white suede and i'm going to tell you what i think about it after having it this long because this is my favorite i think it's my signature scent if we talk about perfumes that i wear this is my signature scent and i'm not playing favorites but i love tom ford perfumes i don't know why the dna speaks to me these perfumes are so nice when you spray them on yourself you wait for the dry down it turns into something different it's to me not surprising but it's rewarding i love that and i love you know having such a perfume in my collection or you know having to smell like this this perfume has three keynotes it has um sweat like we're saying it has musk and it has saffron and it's I think it's called uh, it's categorized as a woody spicy and it also it's also it's you know said to be charming and irresistible that's from Tom Tom Ford's website but that's not why I bought it I bought it because it smells really great and let me tell you more about the other notes so if it has uh, suede and musk and saffron as the keynotes it has other notes that you can't smell but they're in but you can smell them later at the dry down non the keynotes but the dry down notes what you see you smell later it makes the composition of the whole perfume this perfume has a velvety rose which i really love it also has thyme it's a spice people use for cooking it's also used in medicines it has saffron and it has uh, the velvety rose and it also has warm amber yeah for most of you who don't know amber amber is also used in other perfumes yeah what i love most is the velvety rose even though you don't smell it immediately but i love the combination between the suede and the mask and the velvet rose it brings it all together you don't smell the rose from the beginning but when initial spray you spray this first you smell suede and then you smell the mask and then there comes the saffron as three but then the dry down is different so when the dry down comes up it will be like a musk amber saffron it's irresistible as most of you know tom ford's perfumes are always very expensive so i think uh this retails for 389 euros because this is the 100 mil and if you get a smaller one i think the 50 mil that will be 286 euros so if you pay 40 euros more you get the big one i think that would be a 300 something so you're almost 350 or 360 something with this bottle so it's a big purchase but why i bought the big bottle is because i want i knew i was sure i would use this perfume because you can also see the dent i really used it a lot i never used my perfumes this much yeah there's a perfume that's like halfway but i've had it i think longer than this but i wear this perfume it's like my signature scent and i love it every time i want a safe perfume 
something I can stay with at home, something I can just go out without thinking, something I don't want to distract people with, I wear this because these people have to be really close to you to smell it. The longevity of this perfume is, I think, four hours. But if you overspray, it can take you to six. But we are talking about the four hours for the dry down, and the dry down can last actually a whole day. But sometimes you become immune to this perfume because when I spread this perfume on myself, after some time I can't smell it anymore. But in the beginning, I couldn't smell the perfume at all. But the perfume was there, and what I also thought that um, that the perfume didn't project well, that wasn't the case. Everyone who smelled me was telling me you smell good, but I never smelled myself. I don't. I think that's something with me, not anything with the perfume. Although I became very addicted to it, and I, you know, I started loving it. You know, I, I don't. I. I got myself to love this perfume not because it costed a lot of money but because of how it performs of how it performs because it performs so well that you can also like uh be like oh is that me you know once i was walking by and i smelled this nice breeze of air in the winter and i was like and i'm like oh I don't see anyone else. Is that me? It was so, so nice. So with that, I love to compliment this perfume. Although, however, the thing with this perfume, it smells different in all seasons. When I wear it in the summer, it smells different. The projection is different. The, the, the way it smells, the breeze it gives us, it's different. It, to me, it smells very nice to me in the winter. The cold plus this perfume gives a different bougie combination where you're like, ooh, you know, classy, irresistible, charming, like it says. But in the summer, it gives like, a, you know, also still charming, playful and soft. Yeah, but it depends on your skin too because every perfume is subjective and everyone's subjective. Don't blind buy this perfume. First try it out because you may not like it. I may love it, you may hate it. I love it. I know so many people who don't understand this perfume, who just hate this perfume. And I know a ton of people and I know myself that this is like my favorite perfume at the, you know, at the moment. It can change. At the moment, this is my favorite in all the Tom Ford collection, and I wanted even to buy the, you know, the 250 ml bottle from this, but I'm still saving it for that. And for most of you who are like, oh, it's a lot of money, yeah. If you want to smell good, it costs money. So don't expect to smell good with cheap perfumes or smell good with just any, you know, perfume. But I'm not saying you should all go buy this. I'm just saying it's something you can consider while buying Tom Ford. I love it. I've enjoyed having it. You can see the dent. I use it. And I would recommend this to anyone who wants to, you know, get into the Tom Ford thing. But it's kind of expensive but now Tom Ford has really smaller travel sizes so those travel sizes you can start with those small travel sizes to see which perfume suits you better but I don't know I don't know if that increases the advantage of the brand because most of the people who buy Tom Ford just want to remain exclusive they don't want to walk around smelling like everyone that's why they pay a lot of money so and the person who buys Tom Ford you know it's not going to buy the small travel size uh, because you know if they can afford this uh, so I don't know I don't see the use why actually the Tom Ford released the travel size maybe it was because they sold the company to Estee Lauder and uh, now they're trying to get everyone into the brand but for the existing customers like me who have you know had a big collection of Tom Ford I don't think I would you know well uh, want would have wanted that so i feel like it's i'm not special anymore to the brand though i won't feel special when i buy a tom ford product because then everyone can, you know can 
afford it and everyone can purchase it and everyone who is not really committed to it can you know just try it out because they can afford the small size travels you know small travel size so yeah you know what i mean most of you but you know the good thing is the fragrance doesn't smell the same on everyone it smells different it can never smell the same on every single type of person so that's the advantage that i have even though i have a big box i don't regret that now they have this you know travel sizes that anyone can you know buy on a cheaper price and uh, they also cut the prices recently so i'm kind of a little bit negative about that but i'm very positive about white suede so for most of you out there who are thinking if White suede is something for them. Yes, it is. So get yourself your white suede and let me know in the comment section below what you think your favorite Tom Ford fragrance is at the moment or will be or what you're planning to purchase or what's in your fragrance collection. And see you soon. And check out other videos on this channel about fragrance and other things on your phone. If you're new here, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, Thanks for your support. Love you lot. See you in this video in one, two, three, and go!